everybody and welcome to the quick tutorial. Um, my name is Jess and I will be walking you through the Microsoft Office um, teams that we're going to be using. This is specifically for US history but a lot of these things you can use for other subject areas such as civics or world history or just to navigate the general. So this is your typical um, auto formatted Microsoft Teams page. Um, I'm personally not a fan of the grid. I like list. So I'm going to have two videos. I'm going to show you one video with the grid and one video with the list. All right. So if you go into your middle school social studies, you'll see our general page. And then if you click U.S. History, you'll make it to the U.S. For the U.S., um, if you go to Notes, which is up here in this top corner, you will see the welcome page. I've tried to fill this out as best that I can. This button right here where I've got the big blue arrow to, it should easily show you which pages are here. We'll be starting week one. That will be next week. So this furthers the OneNote that will pop up. Sometimes you have to give it a second to load. Um, you can see everything here pertaining to the lesson plan for week one. Excuse me, I have a dog. And then if you go to files as well, you have all the files here. So I added the thinking maps because we'll most likely use those for more than one week. However, week one, you will see that it's got the lesson plan, bell work, news ELA articles. Something to note with the news ELA articles is that I have them arranged by Lexile levels. Um, I will post something on the general page and within the US page that helps with all the Lexile levels and understanding how they correspond to achievement levels as well as grade levels. That might help. So back to the post. The one thing that um, I would ask for everybody to do is if just like social media, if you could put an at, so we'll say at Tracy Newman, we're running a test video, please ignore, that pops up immediately, you can hover to see who she is, if you don't want that post, you can click that and delete, and it says your message has been deleted. The other additional thing is if you start typing and you want to create spaces between your lines, use shift return at the same time. So if I type blah, 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 shift return, return, blah, blah, blah. Down here you can use anything that you can. You can even record a video. So I'm going to post this video to our um, overall page right here somewhere as well as to the welcome notes page. If you guys have any other questions just let me know. Um, the office hours as of right now are 8 to 8 45 a.m. 12 to 12 45, 3 30 to 4 15. Those office hours are specifically for the immediate uh, responses to your Q&A's. Um, they could change so stay in touch and I hope you enjoyed this. More to come.